This tutorial was developed to provide you with the step-by-step -step instructions you'll need to successfully incorporate the Elcometer 224 Top Digital Surface Profile Meter into your daily activities. In this portion, we'll take you through your initial gauge setup and calibration of the 224. Before we begin, please take a moment to familiarize yourself with the buttons and icons you'll encounter as you successfully navigate this tutorial. Operating the Elcometer 224 Top Digital Surface Profile In this section, we'll walk through the overall structure of the 224 and discuss its layout. We'll discuss topics such as the initial setup of your gauge and provide you with some helpful suggestions with regards to maneuvering through the various screens and menu options available with this model. This discussion will better prepare you to set up batches on your meter, display statistics, choose your reading units, and set reading limits. Before we begin, let's take a moment to review the features of the 224. When you first power on your gauge, the display should contain four different symbols or words. You'll see the battery status indicator in the upper right hand corner. The units selected for your readings appear directly underneath that. To the far left hand side, the word zero appears, which will allow us to calibrate our meter. And finally, the word menu is shown on the right. Before we continue, let's take a moment to make sure that the extended menu is selected on the gauge you're using. Press the selector key directly beneath the word menu on your LCD display. Your screen should now look like this. Use the up or down arrows to locate the extended menu option and place a tick mark in the box by pressing the select key. Once you've done that, press the selector key under the word back to return to the display. We proceed through this tutorial. You'll notice that each of the menus we encounter contains both a select option on the right hand side of the display and a back option on the left hand side. If you should wish to cancel the option you were looking for, or, if you simply want or need to return to the main display, press the selector key located directly beneath the back option at any time. If extended menu has been activated, your display should now look like this. The options data and stats should be available along the bottom of your display. Extended menu has now given us access to the 224's data and statistics menus. In this section we'll discuss your gauge setup, including units, reading limits, and audible alarms. Selecting the appropriate units for your gauge readings can be done in four simple steps. The first step in defining your reading limits is selecting the data option from your main LCD display. Remember that the 224 is equipped with an audible alarm which will notify you if a reading should fall outside your limit. Arrow down to set limits and press the Let's start with the lower reading boundary first. Arrow down to low, and press the select key. 
Use the up or down arrows to reach the value you need and press OK. Repeat the process to set your high Once your limits are set, make sure that the limits on option is selected. A tick mark should appear once it's selected. The Elcometer 224 provides audible signals to let you know each time a reading is accepted by the gauge. A triple beep signal is also provided to notify you if any of your readings fall outside of your specified reading range. This beep volume may be adjusted from the setup menu. Gauge calibration is a critical investment in quality production. It is also the very foundation upon which a respectable quality program can be built. Making sure that measuring instruments are properly calibrated is extremely important to quality manufacturing operations. A gauge that doesn't read accurately and repeatedly can compromise the integrity of quality control and quality assurance documentation, while destroying confidence in measuring results. At their worst, Inaccurate gauges can result in the production of non-conforming parts. We strongly recommend that you calibrate early and often and make this crucial investment in your quality processes and program. Hold the gauge with the probe pressed firmly. The 224's tungsten carbide tip will probe the To calibrate or recalibrate your gauge, Select zero from the Place the probe on the glass slide provided with your 224 to obtain an accurate zero. Once you have successfully calibrated, your display will look like this. In this tutorial, we've reviewed the successful operation of the Elcometer 224 top surface profile gauge. We welcome your comments and suggestions regarding this presentation and encourage you to voice your opinions by emailing sales at elcometerusa.com, or by contacting your local sales representative or distributor directly.